we, we greet everyone with the peace of the Lord Jesus. It's a source of great joy, the smile for being with the brethren. I invite the brethren to stand up so that we can read the word of the Lord, which is in the first Chronicles. Also greet the ones with, which are watching us online with the peace of the Lord Jesus. First Chronicles, chapter 28. First Chronicles nine and ten. Amen. The word of the Lord says the following. And you, my son Solomon, acknowledge the God of your father and serve him with wholehearted devotion and with a willing mind. For the Lord searches every heart and understands every desire and every thought. If you seek him, he will be found by you. But if you forsake him, he will reject you forever. Consider now, for the Lord has chosen you to build a house as a sanctuary. Be strong and do the work. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Within of God, your word is being read. Yes, Lord, that you bless us even more through your word. Give us the revelation of the word. We pray to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Church may be seated. My brethren, we have learned that there is a moment for everything in our lives. We've learned in school. We have learned at school. For a few, it's been a long time, but for me, it's not so long. People are born, they live and die. And throughout this period, there are moments, specific moments for each thing. There's a moment in which, when you are a child, we have to be taken care of by our parents. When we are a little older, when we are children, we were, we were playing like children. It was a moment for us to play like children. So then there came a moment for us to go to school. On youth, I'm not even going to speak about. There is also a moment for the youth. But time passes for everyone. And there come a, come a special mo moment in our lives. A moment for us to accept the Lord or not. Because the call of the Lord from His eternity is to all of us. He calls each one of us for so great salvation. And when we, I'm going to make a parallel here. And I'm going to bring it on to the spiritual side. When we accepted the Lord and we recognized Him as our only sufficient Savior, we begin to a moment of life that is different from the world out there. We were cared for. We used to play. We accepted the Lord and now the things things don't happen in this way anymore. You no longer play of being chewed uh, Christians, because we accepted the Lord, we are no longer cared for. The one who takes care of us is the Lord, but we now begin to take care of others. It is a responsibility of each one of us. We now begin to look to our brethren and love them in such a way that we desire everything of good things to them. 
uh, we tell them, my brother, don't go to this path because I went to this place once, to this direction once, and I, it was not good for me. It is the care. It is a moment to care for, for one another. It is a moment in which we need to love one another. It is a moment to proclaim to us, to amongst us, the church, there is a great love inside of each one of us, which is the love of God. The love that was, was demonstrated on the cross, it inhabits in each heart here, blessed be the name of the Lord, in each one of us, in each one of us. So then the moment now for us was also the same advice that David gave to Solomon in the text that we just read here. He turned to Solomon and said, says, and you, my son Solomon. So in you, so you and me, son of God. You and I, who have accepted the Lord in our only insufficient Savior, and chose to walk on this path and the process of salvation, to walk on this heavenly path, this path that we're going to go through trials and tribulations and difficulties, but walking this path we are, we are sure that later on we are going to be more than victorious on this path that the Lord has chosen us for. He took us out of the pit mud at, and to put us on this path. And now we are going to love one another more and more. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Today we're going to hear the voice of the Lord saying, You, my son, you, my daughter, you know the God of your parents. You know the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Mary, the God of Joseph, the God of Luciano, the God of Pastor Sabado, and you, my son, my daughter, you know the Lord, this wonderful God, but it's not only just just knowing Him and stop there. No, you need to know God and continue to know Lord, the Lord. Because the Lord reveals to one every day in a different way. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Every day the Lord has a new secret to reveal to each one of us. <coughs> a new secret. He, he calls us by our name. And by the name that each one of us have, but he calls us by the name and the experience that one once he gave to us one day, because there there was a call uh, to our lives. Because when I was employed, the Lord called me. When I was sick, the Lord called me. He healed my sickness. It is a call from the Lord. It is a name by which he has called us one day. It is a name by which he has called us. And you, my son, my daughter, you know the God of your parents. And do you know the God of your father? I know. It is the God created by heaven and earth. The God that called men or the Chaldeans. And he said, go get out of your land from the midst of your relatives. Go to a land that I will show you. And by faith, that man went, went, and he was blessed. I know the God that called and has chosen David in the midst of the flock of sheep. After all the, the children of Jesse had already gone through uh, Samuel, he has said, and the Lord told Samuel, Though this is not the one that I have chosen. Is there another son? No, he, there is another one. He's in the midst of the flock of sheep. He's, he's shepherding the sheep. And that's how God has chosen us. Bring him. We're not going to sit at the table. There is not going to be fellowship. There is not going to be blessed. There is not going to be anointing until the one that the Lord has chosen is not at the tables as well. The Lord has chosen you. There is not going to be fellowship. There is not going to be blessing in eternity until you, the one who God has chosen, 
is not at the table as well. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Because one of the last prophecies that are, uh, ought to be fulfilled is the number of the chosen to be fulfilled. And there is a number. There is a number. Because the Lord searched the, everyone's heart and understand every desire and every thought. The Lord knows you. He knows me. He knows my thoughts. He knows my walk, the way I speak. He knows my heart. He knows your heart. He knows your life. He knows where you, you spent the day. He knows what, what was the affliction of your day, the anguish of the day. He knows if you were choosing if you were going to go to the house of the Lord or not. The, the, the Lord knows all those things. And then the Holy Spirit gave you an advice. Come to my house. The Lord has, has shown in the spiritual gift a, a sister that has a life that is divided in a scale. And everything in her life was weighing more to the material side. But the Lord has called you tonight to weigh more to the spiritual side. Blessed be the name of the Lord. To the spiritual side. Uh, on the side of eternal life. Because in the material side, it, the word of the Lord says, heaven and earth will pass. But in the spiritual, it says, my words are not going to pass. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The Lord knows everything that happens in us. Is, is it easy to go on a Tuesday to the house of the Lord after work? The first opportunity that, that I had to evangelize a, a friend, he turned to me and said, it's not easy to serve the Lord. Oh, a uh, Haitian guy in he said it's difficult to serve the Lord. But Jesus said that it's not impossible. It's difficult, but it's not impossible. We are here. It is not impossible. I said recently, the Lord took us out of the uh, mud pit and brought us to this place, Lord. The, I was lost, but the Lord found me and brought me here. You are alone. God found you and brought you here. It is possible, blessed be the name of the Lord. Because He knows the inside of each one of us. He knows your life. And now, if you seek Him, you will be found. The Lord has called us. We are on our spiritual walk. He knows our heart. He knows our life, our minds, what we think what we are going to do, what has not even come up to our hearts, He knows. But the secret for the faithful church, the secret for each one of us, is to search, seek the Lord. If you seek the Lord, you will find. If you seek the Lord in your room, Lord, I have a contrite heart, sad. If you cry at God's feet, God will find you. God will find you in the midst of your affliction and He will give you all the comfort, all the consolation, all the blessing from the Lord. All the blessing from the Lord. I have an experience from uh, the seminar. The brother and sister were crying at God's feet. We were praying in their bedroom. And there, without solution for their lives, and the angel touches on the brother's shoulder and says, Fear not. So then all the sadness went away because the word of the Lord was, Do not be afraid. So the word of the Lord for the ones who seek the Lord with all their hearts, the ones who God finds, it, it, is, it is the word, Do not be afraid. Because the God of glory, the Lord of hosts, is ahead of us. Blessed be the Lord. He is not behind us. He is ahead of you. It is, he is ahead of you. And he spoke to Peter. Come upon me. Peter was not going to be able to be ahead of Jesus. The Lord is ahead of us, fighting our battles first. Being victorious in our battles first. 
bringing joy and, and being saddened with all the struggle that exists so that we may rejoice in the Lord. Exalted be the name of the Lord. However, if, if, if you forsake him, he will reject you forever. Forever. The scale is leaning to the material side. Seek the Lord. The life that we seek is eternity with Christ and the glory of Christ. Blessed be the Lord. If we forsake Him, He will forget about us. Forever. He will reject you forever. If you have been leaning more towards the material side tonight, the Lord told you, I'm placing a, a stone on the other side of the scale with the word faith. And when this was done, the scale would lean to the other side and we would say, oh, it's not possible, it's just a little stone. How is it possible for the scale to change so much? It's such a small stone. The secret was on the faith. On faith. Do not allow the material side to lean you towards the wrong side. Seek the Lord. Abraham sought an invisible, invisible God. He didn't know, but he found the God of Israel. Seek the Lord. And you will find faith to move mountains. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Look. Consider now. For the Lord has chosen you. I said here, the Lord has already chosen you. The Lord has not chosen the one that is outside, no. The Lord has chosen you, has chosen me by His mercy, not because we would deserve Him. No, we don't deserve Him. We don't deserve it, but He has chosen us. And you who, is, who are in the house of the Lord, you are a blessed one. The blessing of the Lord came, was upon your life tonight. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He has chosen you to build a house as a sanctuary. Tonight, the, we have an opportunity to build this house. Isn't there a song that says, uh, brick by brick, but today, today is a day to finish building this house as the sanctuary of God. This house is our heart. I let go of the material things, the things that were causing my skill to lean uh, to the wrong side. So now I'm going to live by faith. My heart now is going to be edified on the Lord. My heart now is going to be the temple of the Holy Spirit. From this day forward, my heart is going to be the dwelling of, of the high God. From this day forward, my heart is the dwelling of an eternal God, the one who created heaven and earth and who created your life. Blessed be the Lord. I'm going to leave this church tonight knowing that the dwelling of the Lord has been prepared in, the, in each one of us. Blessed be, be God. Be the Lord. And after this dwelling is uh, prepared, there is one, one, limb, one thing left for each one of us. Take care of it. We used to be taken care of, but now we are going to care for. Be strong and do the work. The work of the Lord is not a heavy load. The work of the Lord is to love your brother. The work of the Lord is to pray for the praise group. The work of the Lord is to pray for the sister, for the pastor, like the deacon uh, suggested um, during the period of praises. The work of the Lord is to participate in the prophetic service, is to rest in the Lord, because to be in the house of the Lord doing all those things is to rest in the Lord. And the psalmist David said, I rejoice when they told me, let us go to the house of the Lord, because the house of the Lord is a house of rest. 
is a house of joy, is a house of praise, is a house of glorification of the Lord, is a house of to adore this wonderful God. Blessed be the Lord. Glory to Jesus.
invite the brand to stand up. Maybe to finish the service in the altar of the Lord. Go to Jesus. Whoever it is. Your heart. It's, is your heart filled with faith? Have it let go of the material things? In the midst of the anguish, the Lord will provide all things for you. Because the, the Lord says that I never seen the righteous and his descendancy to beg for bread. You are the descendancy of God. You are the descendancy of the Lord. You never lack anything. Blessed be the Lord. Lord God, we praise you and you adore your holy name. Glorify you, Lord. Because it is good to be in a house, to praise your holy name. It's good to do your work, Lord. Bring joy to our heart and soul, Lord. Best be your name. Hallelujah. You won't. Eternal God, to you belong all the glory and all the honor. To you belong our lives. Yes, Lord, receive our service and our lives in your altar. In the name of the Lord Jesus, amen. The church may be seated. You who visit us, if you desire prayer or a clarification regarding the word, if you're being touched by the praise and the spiritual gift. We are here in the front to clarify you for anything, regarding anything, and to all the peace of the Lord. Thank you. 